the best new feature in ConnectSmart 3.09 is this new category on the left hand side. It's called Developer Edition. Uh, what this gives you the ability to do is to create your own custom gadgets with embedded drill down. Um, so let's actually get right to it. Let's make one and you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, we're going to make a gadget uh, that looks at all the number of unpaid invoices we have in ConnectWise. So I've got a query here. Actually, let me just get rid of that. Put it. So just to, to explain this real quick, I've, this is made up of two queries. We first have a, a select count. Uh, so we're counting invoices where there's in the description a word called failed. So our setup in ConnectWise whenever there's an unpaid invoice has the word failed in it. So that's counting them. You'll see that right here. And then below that, uh, we just want to select everything. Uh, in the same thing, um, but instead of counting it, it just it spreads out the data. So this is going to be in two parts. The first one is the query, or the number that's going to be represented on the gadget. And then underneath it, the drill down query, the data that's presented. Okay. So this first one, I'm going to copy this. And this, you can find it in your Views folder in your ConnectWise database. Go to Views, and then in, this is a simple V underscore RPT invoices view. So we'll go into the Creator. I'm going to double click on the Developer Edition Digital Gauge. Sorry, get out of that. I added it twice. Double click once. And then click, go up to Data and click on Edit Parameters. And you'll see two new parameters in here, query and drill down query. So we're going to paste in the query. Uh, of note, it's very important that you don't have any uh, line breaks. So it needs to be one steady stream, one line of, of text in there. So we'll hit finish right there. OK, and that gave us that number two that we had over in SQL. Uh, we're going to go up to data, again, hit edit parameters. And uh, you could do this in both steps if you want, uh, all in one, one step. But um, drill down query, and here we'll grab this. And I'm including all this in a sample document. So you can, you can play with the settings, grab the code, and, and make your own. So here, hit Finish. And so you hit the Play button. You've got the number, the first query. And then after that, the drill down with all the information that's in the table in SQL. Okay, so now I think the last step is just we can um, pretty this up a little bit. Uh, this is purely preference, but uh, let's. I always like to put the background of the gauges as transparent so we can float them nicely. Uh, and instead of a red, let's do say a lime and make it a little bit smaller. And let's actually add, uh, we'll take the glare off. Maybe make this linear, linear border 16. And let's add a title to this that says Unpaid Invoices. Click Add Text, Unpaid Invoices, Layout, and put it on the bottom here. So we've just made, actually, let's bump this down just a little bit. So there, and the refresh is on up here for every 10 minutes. It's going to query the database. And this goes, nice thing about this is it funnels straight through the ConnectSmart server. It's not directly hammering your database, it's funneled through the, the ConnectSmart um, query governor. So everything, um, it doesn't put a load on the SQL database anymore. So we'll, um, just now we just need to save it out. And I've got one there saved already. Okay, so here we've got another developer edition gadget. What this gadget is doing, it's counting all of the invoices that have been created for the month that have the letters AGR in the invoice number. So I'll show you what we have here. Uh, this again is just on a standard uh, reporting view in ConnectWise. And it is selecting, it's in two parts, and I'll show you the first one. The select sum of the invoice amount. Um, from the invoice where uh, it, it's the month, to this month and the year. And the invoice number has the letters AGR in it. So 
with the select sum invoice amount, that gives us an actual total of this column. So we have a sum of the total of invoices generated so far this month. And then we actually look at the drill down query and set in the previous example we have select star and uh, that selected everything. But say for example we just want to look at a couple columns that are meaningful to us. Company, invoice number, data was generated, and the billable amount. So um, that in this case you would select company and this is actually going to all be included in the zip file so you can you can play with these I don't need to go into great detail but I do want to show you how to make it inside of the power gadget creator so let's go over here and I'm going to for the sake of time just edit this one you can see how to create it in the, the previous video but we just want to go up to edit parameters and you see this first one is a select sum as we went through before and again you want to make sure that your select statement is all on one line of text you don't want page uh, line breaks in there and then the drill down query we're just selecting the columns that we want and we can name name them um, so we hit finish and you've got to play you double click it and there we've got our our grid and this is fully sortable. Say I just wanted to look at um, the companies that start with B. You would um, type in a B in the filter field, hit edit filter, and you just instead of contains the letter B, you would set this to be uh, begins with. Hit OK, and there we have all our companies for the month uh, that start with B. So that's uh, the second of three examples, and let's get into the, uh, there's a really great trick on the next one, which I'm sure you're going to love. Okay, this is the third developer edition gadget we've got in our sample. And I just want to show you there's something a little bit different about this one. Uh, we created this one to um, grab the all the surveys that have less than 50 points. So typically it's a bad survey. So if you hit play on this, double click it, it'll bring up a, a drill down. And you see here, actually let me bring this over. It has a ticket number with an actual hot linkable um, hot linkable URL so you can just click on the URL and it'll take you straight to the ticket in ConnectWise. So this is great if you're uh, a knock manager or if you're, if you're uh, a service manager and you're trying to, to, to really quickly look at surveys uh, just some of the feedback of what's going on it'll take you straight to that ticket and you can find out what happened or why that why that survey wasn't uh, so favorable. So let me show you how we got this. I've got the uh, SQL query up over in SQL Studio. Okay, so here we've got the two queries in SQL. The first one is just selecting the count uh, from the the report the survey's report where there uh, this survey actually has satisfaction. It's one of our survey satisfaction survey and the uh, it's this year and the points are less than 50 so that gives you the actual number the 76 that you see in the digital gauge underneath it um, we just want to select a couple columns but here's the uh, real special trick um, if there is a column with a connect wise ticket number in it if you if you do the the keyword ticket it will make it hot linkable so if you say select ticket as ticket uh, it will make on this drill down when you click it you can it'll take you straight to the URL and connect wise so um, all this is this is included in the in the sample scripts so you can look at that but uh, it's a real quick way just to to if you have a, a query something you're trying to get at out of uh, the connect wise database and it's not it's it's not easily accessible this is the best way to do it with a developer edition gadget and now that they have drill downs you can um, hot link straight to the issue and uh, take care of it if you have any questions give us a shout support at connectsmart.com